It would be you, 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 you. Hey, it would be. Hey, what's your. Hey, your person, I want you it on you. If I could have anything. What do you say? I put it on everything. <laughs> That's it. It would be you, 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 yo. Yo. <laughs> hey, what's going on? What it is, family? Look, so far, I'm the ripper. I'm the ripper. Your person said, look, I want you and on you. So you could be dealing with somebody that was very narcissistic. I'm talking about very narcissistic. Somebody that was probably for these streets. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. Somebody that was probably for these streets at one point in time because they were stuck in their own ways. But I'm feeling like whatever this energy is, like this person is not in their energy anymore. This is new love now. Because they said I didn't believe. They said I didn't believe. They could have had somebody that was doing dark magic on them it, 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 too now. I've been seeing this pop out a whole lot. They could have had somebody that was doing spells on them. But it's like this person said I need to talk to you. This person said that said I need to talk to you. Okay, and look, and last, we got also got uh, financial issues out here. So somebody could have definitely been going through some financial problems, which is why they felt like they couldn't come in. Also been seeing that a lot. We got spiritual awakening coming right there behind us. So they spirits on their ass. We're, we're going to get into everything once once we get it all uh, laid out. And But somebody was definitely heartbroken behind this connection. You feel what I'm saying? Somebody was definitely heartbroken behind this connection. So with that being said, we got I want you and only you out here. Okay, so obviously this person is very well and you guys know that whatever mind state or whatever all uh, type of energy that you guys been feeling like this person hasn't been portraying, all they think about is you. All they think about is you. You on their head from the time they wake up to the time they go to sleep. <laughs> they, they got you on the brain. You feel what I'm saying? They got you on the brain. So at one point in time, this person could have been very narcissistic. They could have wanted things their way. They wanted to control things, could possibly wanted to control you. This person is not in their energy no more. So whatever happened, whatever spirit did to shake up their world, shook the shit, <laughs> shook the shit out of them. It's sugar, you know what I'm saying? It could have been the fact that they was going through financial issues. For someone, they probably was very still in the, stuck in the material. They probably was still stuck in the material world. You feel me? But it, it took for them to, to have to go without. For them to be like, damn, man, like like that, like that money material can come and go at any time. But this, that's 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 through God's will. That's through the universe's will that you are blessed and abundant through them through the material. And spirit had to show them like, look, you don't control that with that. I control it. I <laughs> I control it. So the same thing you was worshiping is the same thing that you was that, that you found yourself without. So now you was feeling down and out, you know, feeling like you didn't have nothing. But spirit had, but that was the spirit's way of waking them up to shake them up. Like, look, the material don't matter. You once you solidify the love, once you get rich in spirit, all that is going to manifest through here. And that's what this person learned now through that spiritual awakening. And that's and, and honestly, that's a big reason why they're heartbroken because uh because uh, uh because some of these people actually actually sabotaged you guys' connection. Whether they was already dealing with somebody and then what <clears throat> excuse me. Whether they was already dealing with somebody and you guys came in and connected or that whether they weren't. You feel me? They probably just just in that in that player energy. You know, but but whatever they did, they pushed you guys away. They pushed you guys away and she, but they was the one that prayed you in. That's where that and honestly that's where the karma came from. That was the that was why the karma came because they went to the universe. They went to God and said, "God, please, God, please, Mom, this is not this. This is not that. I need I need us help with this. I need help with this. I want to feel this type of love. I want to feel this. I need healing here. And so you know what God said? You know, okay, I heard you. Bam! I'm gonna go ahead and send them in up. So 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 so, so, so did you get in up? So did you come in? Look, look, you walk in, night and shine the armor, right? Now, mind you, now y'all, y'all, this ain't saying you got money. You may not be fine, but you was, you, you was there to help them heal the parts of themselves that they couldn't heal for themselves. You feel what I'm saying? And then, and we ain't talking about financial issues. Cops, this person was probably in this place where they probably was already doing kind of good for themselves as far as the material, but they, 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 they was, they was needing healing outside of that. And the, and when you got there to help do that, because you wasn't maybe, maybe because maybe you didn't have material abundance like them. Or maybe you wasn't in that, that material lane as them. Or maybe your power was just too overbearing for them. Like, meaning they couldn't control you. Because obviously this person was very controlling. So they, they couldn't control you. They took off. They said, uh-uh, that's oh hell no. <laughs> they went, that's oh hell no. They went back to, they, they went backwards. They went back to the car. They went back to the toxic. Because it was content, huh? But they were sitting there, uh, they were sitting there so fucking miserable. But with you guys, you guys made them happy. 
You guys make them happy despite the fact that they couldn't control you. Despite the fact that you ain't have the material success that, that, that the material was that they had. But despite all these things, you made them happy. You feel what I'm saying? And they couldn't handle it. They would, they, they said I didn't believe. So a lot of you probably told them, you probably came in and, and, and probably prophesied to them as far as like the the, the spiritual journey with, or, or who you guys are, what you guys was going through, what you guys was meant to do as far as purpose wise. And they probably still even probably sitting back like, uh, they hear you, they feel it, but it, it ain't enough. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, it ain't enough. You, your money still ain't right. <laughs> your pocket ain't enough. You ain't listening. You <laughs> I'm gonna say you ain't. I'm gonna say you ain't right. Uh, yeah, money up here big. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you ain't listening. And you know what I'm saying? I can't. No, I can't move you around like this. Uh, uh-uh, this ain't gonna work. You feel what I'm saying? So they took off. They took off. DJ Facts. You know what I'm saying? But they said that they, they definitely said they, they, that they need to talk to you more. A lot of it could be about a new love. About them wanting to establish a new love foundation with you guys after going through the spiritual wave. I'm telling you, spirit. Put that, <laughs> put that tap on them. And look, some of them could have been on, on, on the dark magic. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as, like, these family members, these, uh, because maybe this person was supporting family. They could have been supporting family, too. They could have been supporting these, um, these, these, these exes, these toxic, uh, these karmic exes. They could be, they could have been the main source of income, obviously, if they had the financial abundance. You know what I'm saying? So maybe they, they had people, these, these exes and family members playing, doing magic on them to keep them stuck. So that they can keep providing for them. Because they know that once once you actually get in the picture. And it's crazy because these people, these people actually seen this person happy. They seen that once you guys came into the picture. Because most of them probably voiced it. Or, probably, or maybe the current probably went through their phone. Or know, <laughs> they don't say they probably caught them on the social media. Whatever. So they so these people actually seen why this person was happy. And they seen that it was coming from you. So this person can't understand. Because they're like damn this person ain't got much. This person probably, yeah, this person ain't don't look better than me. <laughs> you know, they would have called me saying, but I ain't, they, but they ain't got, they ain't got much. They, ain't, they don't look better than me. Family probably like, hey, man, they ain't, they ain't doing this. They ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, just haters. Just haters because they don't want to see your person happy. They don't want to see your person happy. That, but that was a part of their soul contract. That part of the soul contract was hit, was put here to keep you guys apart. Let me say that again. A part of their soul contract is to keep you guys apart. Huh? It's about your person being able to see through the bull and spot through the bull, which is what some of them were dealing with through karma. Because even though they seen the bull, they spotted the bull, they still didn't act on it. So now they seem back in karma, dealing with karma. And some, I hate to say it, some of them, for some of these people, they, they, they still don't get it. They still don't get it. And that's why you guys are moving. Excuse me, family. That's why you guys, that's that's why these divine soulmates are coming in. That's why these divine soulmates are coming in. Huh? So, with that being said, what, what we had uh with the uh I need to I need to talk to you. They 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 need to talk to you because some of them's heartbroken. They 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 truly want to express to you how they're heartbroken behind not believing what you was telling them by not believing that 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 that, that what God universe put in front of them was actually real. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Some of y'all spoke, told, called out the full blown truth to these people, and they just did not believe you. They just didn't believe you, family. See, look, we got look, some of them. Is scared. Some of them nervous as shit. I ain't gonna lie. Some of them are nervous. I'm talking about they are super nervous. Like they don't look, man. Look, you got the. They, they they don't feel no celebration gonna come from this. They don't feel no no balance gonna come from this. And it. it Man, look what I say. What I just said. Worried about worried about what other people worried about what other people were gonna feel. Worried about other people what other people were gonna think about y'all connection. They had the most beautiful connection in their hand right then, huh? They had the most beautiful and they feel they but they, and they feel like you guys don't let them go. They feel like you guys don't let them go. So obviously you're dealing with somebody with with with, with, with no communication. Boy, well, look, because they because they would they, they wouldn't walk away from something. They knew they had to they knew they had to walk away from something or somebody. And they chose not to. They chose to stay in the toxic they, they, they chose chose to stay in that toxic environment that was breaking them down. They was crying every day. They was in miserable every day. How could you run man, we ain't gonna do it. But they was miserable every day. And they see, but the whole time they seen the balance with you. They praying and manifesting for you. Now that's look, listen, listen. 
You praying? <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. You praying, manifesting for uh, for for healing, for peace. You get that. You run back to the toxic because you couldn't control this person because you couldn't couldn't because they weren't because they weren't where you you felt they were. You you yeah y'all have to understand. Everybody on soul contracts are, are not going to be both materially abundant. One person could have the material wealth, and the other person could have could have features to help aid the material wealth. Meaning, yeah, you got the material wealth, but you probably don't know what to do with it, huh? This person over here don't got the material wealth, but they damn sure know what to do with it once they do touch it. So you guys come together. <sighs> look, man, look, look. Wow. Wow. Look, I'm sitting here talking about the material wealth. Wow. Ace of Pentacles right at the bottom. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles right at the bottom of the deck. That's what it that's that's how this thing works, y'all. So when you send back lit you, so when you ran into somebody that makes you feel like you never felt before, but they not on your you feel like they're not on your level physically, but in the spirit realm, they 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 big dogs. <laughs> they just said it just they, it just probably wasn't their time yet. But who knows that time could have came through y'all. And, the, and vice versa, because they was there to aid you in ways in ways that you didn't even know how to deal with yourself. You feel me? But look, some but nonetheless, somebody is definitely in the head. Somebody definitely in the head. Look, well, I told you somebody could be feeling like they're dealing with karma. <laughs> somebody could definitely feel like they're dealing with karma. But it's something that's about to happen. Something about to happen that that that, that, that somebody not gonna see coming. Somebody, de ooh, <laughs> look. <laughs> Oh my, boy, look, man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this what, so, so this what's probably finna happen that somebody not gonna see coming. Okay, look, first we got Lovers Coil pop out. I'm telling y'all, some, so, some, somebody about to pop out be like, look, man, I love you. <laughs> look, look, I ain't, oh, I ain't thinking about it no more. It ain't even no, uh, uh, it ain't even no, a thought in the head. I know exactly what it is. I love you, you my soul, mate, oh. Uh, Look, for those of you people that actually accept these people back in, this relationship is going to be everlasting. This relationship is going to be everlasting. You feel me? Because th this person this person knew who you was. Now, this don't even have to necessarily have to be somebody that you was in the deep past. We could have been, this could have just been somebody that you probably um probably ran into or you guys probably started talking, but you didn't go, go any further because you guys, because somebody sabotaged the connection. You know, meaning meaning they, they, weren't, they weren't fully given to the connection. You feel what I'm saying? Which which probably caused you guys to separate. Now and now maybe you or but them both thinking like, man, this can't be my person. You feel what I'm saying? But truth is about to come out. Some truth is about to be put out on the table. So you got so whether you guys ready for it, <laughs> whether y'all ready for it or not, it's coming. It's coming. Look, and, and look, look, what I tell you, they gonna look, they finna pop up. Wow. Two commitment cards right back back to back each other, and somebody looking, somebody looking back. So obviously this person is definitely reminiscent. So you guys was texting. You guys was talking on the phone. You guys ever did hang out? They thinking about that. They looking at y'all text messages. They looking at y'all. If you guys uh, sent pictures, or however, whatever, they they looking at your pictures. They thinking about you heavy. They thinking about you heavy, super heavy. And how the fact that they ready to communicate this, they, they, they want to clear the air. They definitely want to clear the air because they feel like you they person. They feel like you the one sent to, they feel like you, you the one. They feel like you the one, and they and, and that deployment point place thing, they have no doubt about it. All right, family. So look, I appreciate y'all to come and tap in with me. I appreciate my uh my new subscribers. I appreciate the likes and shares, y'all. If y'all ain't subscribed yet, please go hit the subscribe bell for me one time, please, please. And then um, I am taking personal reasons for y'all didn't want to tap in. All right, so look, y'all keep your head up. Y'all have a great day. Hey, it's gonna be everything gonna be okay, man. I promise y'all. All right, let's. go. Go. Oh, yeah. Make sure y'all follow my other social medias if you haven't. TikTok. Definitely go hit the TikTok link. It's in the description box, y'all. All right. Let's go.